Kyle Seeger will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Royals leave one. They're still out in front, five to two. Chris Bryant will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there, and he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. No, he's been dominant all game long, and I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. That's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. It's been free and easy the whole way through. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. Here's the two and one pitch. Oh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And that one is out of here. Planted into the right field bleachers. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the series, and it's a 5-3 game now. This is just your classic fastball up over the heart of the plate. I don't even have to do a whole lot of analysis on this one. You put that pitch there to this guy, He's going to take it over the wall. Simple as that. Now here comes Kansas City manager Ned Yost making that slow walk to the mound. And that'll signal the end for Johnny Cueto. Joaquin Soria will get the call here as he'll take over with one gun in the top of the eighth. In now, Nelson Cruz. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Now battle. Joey Gallo will stand in with a run in, one out and one on here in the inning. Ready now on one and one. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Not in time as he steals second. Boy, that's a good jump right there this time. I think he had this one stolen even if the throw is on target. But you see the shortstop have to go up the ladder to get it. And that took away any chance of throwing him out. Here comes the one two. Runner goes for third. Ani can't get off a good swing there as this is on the ground to first base. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Jorge Soler stand in as the possible tying run but first to be looking to get that runner in from third a 1 1 right on but this is foul down toward the box at third now the 1 2 swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning only one in the inning for the Cubs. Adam Lind will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so with the same pitcher still out there. Thinks he's earned himself another inning. I think that's a definite vote of confidence, but he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that hot hand. And we'll move forward now to the top of inning number nine. Number 11. We'll try again. 0 for 3 with a strikeout thus far. Right-hander deals on one and two. To so two balls and two strikes now. I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. This is one of those guys that you can spend all your time in the video room watching what his pitches look like. But until you get out there and see it firsthand, just have no idea how much his stuff moves around. Into the box now, Byron Buxton. 
And here's a fastball taken too low, and he works the count to three and one. And with the time run on the on deck circle, the question does he take a look at another one here? He just might. You're still going to see a good pitch on three and two, even if this one's a When you're down by two in the ninth, there's that old expression about needing a bloop and a blast. Well, that was hardly a bloop. That ball was stung pretty good. But it is going to get the tie and run to the plate. There's new life in that dugout. Carlos Correa will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. Pollard is there, and there are two men gone now. And this is all about taking charge out there. That's the center fielder's ball if you can get there. So he calls everybody off, and he makes the play easily. Ted Williams with the last chance now with two out here in the ninth. He's running towards second. Pitch outside the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. We've seen him use his speed more than once here this postseason. He's on the run again here as he gets into second with the stolen base. And now the runner's trying for third. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. It's too high, and he's going to get in there at third with a stolen base. A sold-out crowd of 39,000 on their feet here in KC. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. EK, where are you going now on three and two? I still got to work a corner. I'm not just going to throw it right down the middle and grab a strike. Can't be a giveaway pitch. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. Once again, a 3-2. And he missed with it there. Ball four. It's a two-out walk with the runner still at third. Action in that KC pen now as the right-handers begun to loosen up. He's set now the pitch. And this is swung on and missed, so the Cubs are down to their final strike here. Big pitch here, one and two. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. Yeah, and you know this home crowd is going to get to drive home happy as their guys come through with a very good win. Certainly did. 